Well, I just got in the mail the brand new Roku Ultra. This is a new high-end Roku that replaces the older Roku 4. Um, it not only offers 4K like the older Roku 4, but it also has HDR, the new um, high dynamic range with better, brighter colors, better defined blacks, and all kinds of new um, colors on the screen. It really does look impressive on some TVs. I've seen that before. Now in the same video here, I'm gonna come back and do a full um, review after I've tested it, but I wanted to do a quick unboxing. Compare it to the older Roku 4 and kind of show you what you get with your device here. So right here is the Roku um, Ultra. Let's see if I can peel off this tape. Uh, and shape-wise, it's very similar to the Roku 4. A few differences right off the bat. There is no uh, fan in this model. I get a lot of questions about that. There are no fans. Now, let's take a look at this. Here's the Roku 4. Let's see here if I can get a good angle on that. And right here is the Roku um, Ultra. You can see noticeably different on that. Um, maybe about half the size all put together. It does have the Buy My Remote feature. Um, it has all the same ports and a little bit different. On top is the Roku Ultra. So they both have optical, HDMI, micro HD, Ethernet, and power, but in one half the size of the older version. Um, what else do we get with it? We get a Roku Guide. The new Roku earbuds, which are greatly improved over the older version. You get the rubbery instead of the hard plastic. Um, the remote itself, which, um, here's the Roku 4 remote, here's the Roku Ultra remote. Uh, pretty much the same um, look on it. Now, a few differences right off the bat. This is more of a matted brown, this is a shiny, so there's no glare. It doesn't really show your fingerprints. Um, more of a rubbery button feel than the hard one. The, um, this is a hard plastic up here. This is a soft plastic with the OK button on it instead of a separate OK button. I kind of like that, having it built in there. Uh, microphone at the top for both. Uh, past that, they seem to be very similar. Yeah, the um, buttons just feel slightly different. And as I said, the main difference here is it's not glossy. It's kind of a matte finish. It's more of a rubbery feel, plasticky feel than um, the glossiness of the Roku 4. So, past that, that's about it. You got the power plug on there, um, extra earbuds for different size ears, and you got some Duracell batteries for the remote. Well, I'm gonna plug this in, test it out, and let you know what I think of the Roku Ultra. All right, well, I've been playing around with the Roku Ultra for a little while now, and there's really not a lot to say about the OS. It's the exact same OS as the Roku 4. It's the same version, same layout, everything on that end is the same. So it didn't seem fair just to kind of look at it and say, hey, this is a Roku. It looks like a Roku, acts like a Roku, it's a Roku. So on the left here, I plugged in my Roku 4. On the right, I have my Roku Ultra. They're both connected to the same internet source. They're both set to 1080p. They're both um, ready to go, both fully updated to the same OS version. So let's test this out real quick and see who's the faster box, what's the differences. So let's first jump right into Netflix and see who's faster. You see both of them, I was on Zootopia a little while ago, loaded it, very similar, maybe Roku um, Ultra, slightly faster. Um, let's go to London Has Fallen, quickly see how quickly I can play both of these. Um, very similar performance there. That's actually not my TV's going bad, that's the video there. Let's do this one more thing time with Stranger Things, see how quickly I can get into the first episode very similar performance. So, at least with Netflix, the Roku 4 and the Roku Ultra are basically the same. Let's jump into Amazon Video. This is the number two streaming service in the United States by subscription. So let's jump in there and see what the difference is. So the Roku Ultra a little faster, but here's the first difference. The Roku Ultra has the brand new Amazon Video app. And if you're used to a Fire TV, you're gonna feel right at home because this is the brand new um, Fire TV-esque version of the Amazon video. But let's, you know, okay, so the menus are a little different, um, but let's see how it actually does with the playing. We're more interested in the Roku Ultra itself than the app it's running. So let's go into Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. We got the same episode, as you see on the right, it's Mickey's Sportathon, left is Mickey's Sportathon. We're resuming both from where they were, 
it requires an extra click on the Roku 4 to load. Um, and you see the Ultra was a little faster, but I had to do an extra click. And I see a little different user interface when I hit pause. Let's back out. I hit the back button. The Roku 4 jumps back to the menu, but the Roku Ultra and the new version of the Amazon video asked me to confirm I actually want to stop. So minor differences, very similar performance here. Uh, let's back out. Definitely a couple extra clicks on the um, Roku Ultra. You also have an ad on the Roku Ultra that you don't have on the Roku 4 version. So let's just go to the home. Um, check out one more show my daughter loves. Episode 7 on both. Again, we're going to do a resume on both of these. See who gets here first. Again, extra click on the 4. But they basically come up at the same time. Let's back out here. Um, I, if I keep hitting the back button, it doesn't do anything. I actually have to hit back and then hit OK to confirm I want to stop playback. Um, so personal preference there on what you like about the new apps. But we're looking at the Roku. What else could we do to kind of see which one's best? Let's go to the home screen. I'm more interested in user experience. One of the things that happens with older Rokus, not so much on the 4, but is that sometimes they get caught up. That you'll be scrolling through, especially when you have 91 channels installed like I do, and it will outrun the ability of the Roku to display the channels. So let's quickly rush through here and see how it does. So far, all the channels are appearing when they should. We're not all running anything. I'm just going to hold the bond there. There we are holding it. I'm going to click it as quick as I can and try to outrun it. And no, I can't outrun either one. Um, in short, here's the here's my experience from both. Now that you've seen similar performance on the Netflix app, similar performance on the Amazon Video app, even though that they're different apps, they're very similar. The Roku Ultra has no fan. It has, um, which is nice. It has HDR, which is that new more vivid color, deeper blacks, can put more colors on the screen than the older 4K system. So effectively they're the same performance, but with the Roku Ultra, you're avoiding some of the fan issues people complained about. I never really had an issue with any noise, but I know some people say that they don't like having a fan in the box. This one doesn't have it. This one has the new Amazon video app. This one's remote. As you saw earlier in the video, it's not quite as glossy. So. I wouldn't say that there's any dramatic difference here, but there definitely is a difference between the two. Uh, questions, comments, let me know. I hope this helped make, give you a more informed opinion about the Roku Ultra. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It really does help us get the word out about cord cutting. And please subscribe. We do our best to help you get the most of your cord cutting experience.